so now, I think, so I need to find a big old cave that goes deep. So some sort of ravine or just a large cave. And then I need to go mining. Oh, you have a quest? Cook chicken? I'm sure we cannot please you. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Oh, nettles. Jeez, scares me a little bit. Because it's out of the blue every time. Oh, well. No! No! My poor Shire Pony. I just managed to save him. I have no idea how that happened. I didn't... What? What to what? That wasn't very good. That was almost a disaster. Oh, wait. I've, I've talked to you before. I'm going back the way I came. Um. Well. Now I feel stupid. I wondered, because all this stuff wasn't grown yet. Come here, porker. So now we could make a little bit of money by taking some of this pig meat over. But I'm just going to keep it for myself, because I'd only get three silver coins, and that is not a lot. Okay, keep heading southeast. Oh, nope, I'm going to glitch through a wall. I'm going to give you some of this wheat I was saving for you. There we go. Now you're back to normal. It's like it never happened. Yeah. Shire Pony foals are adorable. I've probably been to this hobbit hole already. Um, but there's only one way to tell. Well, actually, maybe not. I don't think I was down this way. But, yeah, the small burrow hall, I don't think I've been here before. But, let's take a look and see what they got. Um, maybe, oh, I have been here. Gosh darn it, I've been here already. I'm doing a really good job at getting myself lost. Okay, keep heading southeast. I need to look for big old holes and quit running into nettles. Southeast is the way I'm going. So I sh This should be new. <sighs> this is another small burrow hall. Are th I think okay, I'm not going insane. That's good. I was worried there. Oh, and it's bronze chandeliers. If only they had silver or gold ones. Those are the good ones. Rob your stuff, eat the food, and then try to walk out the door. Oh. Um. You don't look okay. Char ponies spawn so frequently that it's not uncommon to find one stuck like that. Uh, plates and meats and eatables. Roll out. Oh, you've got a quest. I saw that. Chestnut wood? <sighs> Not gonna do that. It's too difficult to find wood. And it just. Well, I mean, it's not too difficult to find wood, but I don't really want to go out of my way to find chestnut wood. Except I have a new problem, and. Oh, there, there he is. I should. I don't want to have to tie him down every time I move. But the way he's acting, I might have to. Now, is this the tavern I was just at? No, it can't be. Yeah, this is... Wait. 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 Hold on. Why are all the buildings generating with the same names? Bizarre. Oh, you got a quest? Apple crumble. We'll see what we can do. 
Actually, I should take a look. What quest logs do I even have? Uh, cooked chicken, I'm gonna drop that. You can only have so many quests at a time, which is a little different. Nope, oh, that was enough to turn my head a bit. Mui. Oh, whoa. What has this person got? Ugh. Man, you want everything I don't have. I've never seen a four leaf clover. So I probably should be paid a lot more for it if I did find it. Ugh. I'll use one of my buckets of milk. There we go. Much better. Now let's go downstairs and see what they have in the way of crumbles. Cooked pork chops. Oh, oh but I can make some. Okay, you're in luck. I will be able to finally do a quest. So, to cook meat in a hobbit oven is quite convenient. Because it cooks everything at the same time. So actually, I should do it more like that. Sort of. What other? Do I have any other raw meats? No. So now all this just goes right down there. It's like magic. Throw the chicken on the ground so it goes into my pockets. And then we raid the basement. Uh, no crumbles. Sad. Oh well. That person will just have to do without. Take the milk though. Um, put the dish back in the dishware. And then. Where was that person who wanted. Oh, I should check the oven. Yes. Now my quest log book. Drop the apple crumble. Because I can't do that. But. There you go. Now I finally have some alignment. Of course, I, they still don't have anything I want. Okay, onward. Gotta keep going. Need to find a nice... Good lord, you and your problem with fences is just a problem. We found the road at last. Road going east to Bywater. And along the way, I'm gonna avoid the nettles and find a hole. <sighs> Goodness, what is this pony's deal? So you can, like, sometimes walk up the edge and sometimes you can't? Ooh, this is perfect, I think. Uh, I'm gonna tie you down just in case it is. I don't know how long I might be gone. So, I'm gonna grab the lead jump off you, tie you down. I already got a pig dead. Okay, more coal. This is good. I'm probably going to do a lot of this off camera because I, it's not really very interesting watching me just wander around in the dark and try to find things. Oh, look. Never mind. There's not even anything down here. Poo. Would've been a nice big cave. Is that too much to ask? Clovers. Yeah, clovers like crazy. Um, nope. Wrong thing. Break that. Jump on. Grab the lead. And let's go. So I'm currently fast traveling to the Brandywine Bridge, which means that I unfortunately had to leave my pony behind. I couldn't find my way back to the surface. I hadn't counted on that being a problem. I wasn't expecting to have such a hard time finding my way back. So what I'm going to do now, we've got a pretty good haul here. I'm going to set up shop in someone's home. And then we will 
find ourselves another pony and get going again. Hopefully we'll get some more quests because that's a good that's the best way of getting money really. Okay. So what I need to do first is I need to smelt 16 stone. food do I have that needs cooking? A bunch of raw beef. So, obviously need to get that done. Also add a couple extra slots for raw pork chops. Ooh, I got some stuff. Drink some of this milk so as to make up space in my inventory. There's cows everywhere so it shouldn't be an issue. small pouches in here. You can occasionally find small pouches in these um, hobbit chests, but there weren't any in this case. So what I'm doing here is I'm making an alloy forge. Alloy forge. So you take stone bricks and you make a forge. So then you can make uh, you can make copper Really, the best way to make bronze is in an alloy forge. And then you can make horns of command and things with bronze. Sword of command, which is all for when you have hired units. We're not there yet. Old Buck. The Old Buck Hobbits. I didn't know that was a name for Hobbits. So the Hobbit oven, it's a little bit slower than a regular oven, but that's simply to balance the fact that it cooks nine food items at once. Very nice, very nice. I wish I had more pouches. So we can go ahead and start our first alloy forge. So what we'll do... I don't know that I will need... What is copper on its own used for? Anything... Copper. Um, copper treasure pile, copper goblet. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother keeping any of this copper. And I'll smelt all the tin. Can I make regular steel? Is that a thing? Let's try that. Steel. Oh, that's not the right kind of steel. Okay, so all these are special steel. Okay, that's what I thought. Ordinarily, you could put copper and iron together. Or, not copper, coal and iron together to make steel. But only in certain crafting tables. Or certain forges, rather. So, like, if you use an elven forge, you get elven steel. If you use a dwarven forge, you get dwarven steel, which is the best steel. Dwarven steel is the best. Other than mithril, but, again, we won't be getting that anytime soon. Okay, so first off, I want an iron pike. Ooh, good, it's hardy. That'll be nice. I won't be needing the sword... And I don't know why I held onto this wooden pickaxe. So then the other item I want is a battle axe. Oh, and it's just regular? That's unfortunate. We would have enough iron to make an anvil, and then we could add, like, hardy and knockback. The knockback one might be worth doing. We could also, I think we can re-roll items. Punching. Oh, but is that... I think that's only for bows, though. Still, might be worth doing. Oh, our other... We can now make our second alloy forge. And then I can split up everything a little bit more evenly. And also add rock salt. Oops. Don't throw the rock salt on the floor. Not good. And then we can kind of even it out more as we go. 
I'll move my money up here. It's kind of nice that it shows you how much you have here in the corner. Handy. Lots of bronze. So, I'm never going to make iron picks, probably, simply because iron is too valuable for other things. But I will make a bronze pick, because it's the same level. It might have a little less durability, but that way I can save my iron for armor rather than picks. So we got a regular iron chest plate. We'll see about everything else. So iron leggings. Oh, I forgot. That didn't work the way I wanted it to. You have to do it like that. Hardy iron helmet. Iron boots. Interest. Ooh, cooling iron leggings. Not that that'll be very useful, because I don't know when I'm going to come in contact with fire at all. But, um... For good measure, I suppose. Just keep evening things out as space frees up. There we go. You want to distribute things as evenly as possible, but that's not always possible. I will also make a bronze axe. Just a regular bronze axe. No advantage or disadvantage, which I guess is alright. Now, if I recall... Is there a different... I can't remember if there's a different... Yeah. So, in this version, thankfully, anvils are much cheaper. Probably because they get used a lot more, if I had to guess. Um, so these things are all done. I can grab them now. We're gonna see if we can't make Mr. Iron Battle Axe a little bit better. So if I add... Oh wait, or is this the reroll? Reforge. Which costs... Two? I got nothing. You kidding me? Give me something lasting? Alright. I was hoping for punching, though, so... Masterful. Yeah, that's that's what I wanted on my battle axe. I wanted it to have a uh, higher tool speed. Let's see, if I make another one, maybe I'll get something good on it. I'm not used to getting so many just... Reforge. Reforge. Enduring. Durability, really? Handy, tool speed, enduring, handy, long. I guess that's alright. Long is pretty good. Can I add these together? Material cost, too. And then does that give me what I want? Handy and long. Wait, I should switch these. Masterful and long. Okay. So now. My battle axe is really good at hitting things, but it also has um, higher melee reach. I made the pike for when I'm on horseback. You need it. You need the advantage of uh, reach on horseback when you're fighting lots of enemies. When the other enemies are on foot or even on horseback. So. We need a new pony, which means I need to make another, um, I need to make another saddle. So I need another three leather. I said three. I can count, I promise. Now I have a saddle. Wow. I like insta-break things with my battle axe, because that's what one wants in a battle axe, I guess. Um, so your baby, your... <laughs> you two are the only adults out of, like, four foals. <laughs> Unfortunately, this Shire Pony has a lot less health than my previous one. Which means that he may die. I don't know. We shall see what we shall see. And it's getting dark. I would like to do some fighting, because we want to have 
alignment with the rangers of the north, but they're very powerful. The nice thing about if you hire Dunedain of the north, they're rather um, difficult to get because you have to have 300 alignment with the rangers of the north, but they go invisible when they shoot at things, which means that when you have a bunch of it in the wiki, it says that it's possible and highly unlikely for a single ranger of the north to kill a balrog because the balrog can't see the ranger. They also shoot very quickly. So if you have a bunch of them, you can stem the flow of really any invasion because they'll just sit there invisible and shoot at people. And now we've reached the kindly west. Which is a little bit ironic, because now orcs can try to attack us, but I'm going to kill them first. So now I have negative alignment, and they're all going to come for me. So I'm going to kind of kite them. Watch the guys with the spears, they're the ones that can hit me. Some of them have poison daggers, which is really annoying. Because all they have to do is touch you with no armor and do anything about it. There we go. So we killed them all. As you can see, they drop a lot of orc bones and rotten flesh, which is not worth anything at all. I'm gonna drop the sulfur. But occasionally they'll drop pouches full of gold, or silver, rather, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna fight these guys whenever I find them, because they give me alignment with the rangers and I'll need a lot of it. Oh no, don't do that. No, don't shoot my poor horse. So I just took a bit of Orc Draft, which gives me um, melee damage increase. Ooh. Masterful Smith Scroll? That's a find. I do want the arrows, though. I'll drop the... something. I don't know what to drop. I don't like the ranged dudes. They'll actually hit me. Oh, hello there. Did you throw your spear at me? I mainly want to fight the ones that are armed with swords and spears and things, rather than the ones with bows. Because they can... Oh, oh goodness. Because they can shoot me and my horse. Ow, no. You need to stop glitching on everything. And move faster. I need to find a real horse. So I can let this guy go free. And he'll quit getting shot. Why do all of you have bows? Or crossbows. More bow dudes. Mm hmm. Hello there. skirmishes with me and gets away with it well I really hate to break it to you but I just did my this pony is really a problem I hope not all I haven't experienced something like this on horseback at all maybe it's because I'm not on an actual horse I don't know it's a pain nonetheless.